Hi everyone, welcome to this video. It is almost summer, well, I say this as it is chucking it down outside, but it is almost summer, so I thought I'd do a video on what trends are gonna be in and what I personally will be wearing and what I won't be wearing. Obviously, this is all personal opinion, so take it with a pinch of salt. It's just what I've been seeing on social media and Pinterest a lot more recently, and what I think will be more popular in the summer months. So first, we're gonna start with accessories. The first thing is sun sunglasses so the sunglasses that I think are going to be in trend is those orange and black ones I feel like you know what I mean um, the vintage big sunglasses that everyone's been wearing that personally reminds me of Vector from Despicable Me but honestly they just look good with any outfit and I think they're going to be really popular this summer and along with those sunglasses I think the plain black rectangular ones are going to be coming back this year they were very popular last year and especially over tiktok everyone was wearing them they just suit everyone and go with every outfit so i think they're a really good staple to have in the summer moving on to jewelry so at the moment a lot of jewelry that's been going around people have been hand making clay rings and like there's been a lot of resin rings and it's very colorful as you can see i'm wearing one now with these i would recommend that you get resin over clay because it's more durable and it will last longer and I think the clay ones are going to come in and go out just as fast um, but if you do want some clay ones then a really cheap option is hand making them yourself and it's also really fun do it with some friends this one is clay and I did buy it from a small business on Instagram but it was only like five pounds so if you are going to buy them then I'd get them really cheap because they aren't going to be hanging around for long and then resin rings I have these like stackable ones that I think are really cool and these heart ones I think especially this white one they're going to be much more easy to wear in the future and obviously you don't want to waste money buying loads of things so I think if you are going to get resin ones get a couple of colourful ones but try and stick with like browns and neutrals that are going to be timeless pieces that you can keep wearing if you're going to spend a lot of money and then something else that I think you could hand make are the phone charms that have been in trend quite a lot at the moment this is one that I made myself it was actually really fun to make and it's really easy just get a load of beads I actually think it's better to hand make them yourself because you can personalize it more and then that moves me on nicely to beaded necklaces as you can see I'm wearing one um I love beaded necklaces they're probably one of my favorite trends this year but this one is from Mimi's World. I also have two more of my favourites. I have a few more, but I'm not going to show you all of them because we'd be here forever. This one, it's like floral. This is from Little Things by Loose on Instagram. And then this one is from Daydreamy UK on Instagram. And it's just a simple pearl choker that goes with everything like this one if you are going to get one of these then i'd recommend keeping it a bit more simple there's loads of bright colored ones going around that's great but i tend to found the ones that i've bought that i still really like are these plain ones all of these jewelry trends are very like young and colorful and as much as i love that at the moment i feel like they're not going to be in trend forever so i wouldn't spend too much on them and just get a few simple plainer color ones that will go with everything because you want to be wearing them at the moment whilst they are in trend and then moving on to shoes i think what's going to be in trend this summer and what has been in trend spring so far are those jelly sandals and also platform sandals so just black ones with massive platforms i think are going to be really in i think a lot of chunky shoes at the moment because also dad sneakers are very in at the moment and will be throughout this summer these are the ones that I have they're Nike Technos um, I didn't get them off the website because they're always out of stock I got them off some sports website I can't remember which one it was but I love these shoes and I'll be wearing them all summer especially with like little dresses I think the juxtaposition is perfect also I know New Balance do some really nice ones and I'm sure there's loads of other brands that you could get them from as well and then moving on to bags, I think crochet bags especially. I feel like crochet anything this year is really popular, um, which I love. I'm trying to learn how to crochet myself. But this is the one that I have, this crochet bag. If you are gonna get one, I would recommend having it lined on the inside because it's not the most practical thing ever. But I really like this one. I think it's really nice colors. Another one that I really want that I think I'm gonna try and make myself. I've started seeing these bags over Pinterest where it's just simple checkered bags and then moving on to clothes 
The first trend that I think is going to be really popular this year and really cute is Hawaiian print clothing. Um, and it reminds me of Gabriella in High School Musical 2. I've been seeing a lot of it on Pinterest and I really want to get something. And then places that I can recommend getting that from is places like Oh Mighty. They have their like dresses with the Hawaiian print. Vintage. I've been looking on Vintage, Depop and eBay constantly trying to find something for a reasonable price. I really want a halter neck dress like a pink or a blue one in that fabric. I've been looking in charity shops. I haven't had that much luck so far, but I'm just gonna keep looking and keep hoping that stuff comes up. They also have a dress in that print from House of Sunny that like, I think I am gonna save up for it because it is expensive, but I do really want it. So I think I'm gonna save up for it. And it kind of links into the like crochet and knitted trend. And then another thing that's kind of similar is tankinis. I keep seeing people wearing like swimsuit tops as just normal tops um, and I really like it. And then moving on, another item of clothing that I think is really gonna be in trend this year is the knitted and the crochet dresses or just knitted and crochet anything. As you've seen with the bags, I also think that clothes are gonna be in trend. I've been seeing them all over like Instagram and my Pinterest feed. I have actually started learning to crochet this year just because I want to make some clothes. So these are the squares I've done so far and I am trying to make trousers. I'm not sure if it's going to happen but I would really love to have them for the summer so fingers crossed that it does work. The next trend I've been seeing a lot on Instagram and Pinterest is very bright colours and in particular like I'll insert a picture like this orange colour. I've seen like so much during the spring and I think it's going to carry on into the summer. So I picked up this top from a charity shop not long ago and I really love like the colours of it. I love the three quarter length sleeves. I think it's really nice for the summer and on slightly cooler days because in England it's not 20 degrees all the time. But if you want like bright coloured clothing, charity shops you could look in there. Urban Outfitters always have loads of bright clothes. Zara also do at the moment. Their patterns are just amazing. The next thing that was kind of coming in last year but I don't think it properly did but I think this summer it's going to be really popular is low waisted jeans. Now I didn't think I'd ever wear them because I'm very like self-conscious however I am starting to love them and I have a pair from Hollister and they're like flared low-rise jeans I do really like them however I really am looking for like a baggier pair in a light colored wash for the summer I do think that low-rise jeans are very like flattering on quite a lot of body shapes and if you are insecure like me then I would recommend wearing slightly longer tops just normal length tops rather than crop tops um, or like corset tops that go down in the middle and places that you can find low-waisted jeans are like eBay, Depop, charity shops or Hollister where I got these from. The next thing is like vintage Y2K tops. I absolutely love this trend. This is one that I have I bought it off Depop in like January and I just knew that I was going to be wearing this all summer and I've worn it so much already and again I think if you're going to buy any of these then look in charity shops on Depop or on eBay to get them really cheap. Places like Urban Outfitters do sell them but you'll be paying 30 plus pounds for a t-shirt like this whereas this was five and honestly just as nice but if you are going to get these also go with bright colours for this year definitely I would say. The next Next um, thing that I think is going to be really in this summer is like oversized button up shirts. I always wear oversized zip ups the spring, in the autumn, in the winter and that's basically just replacing that. It's a lot lightweight fabric and really nice. So one that I have I got last year in a charity shop for 50p is this one. It's long sleeved, it's oversized. However, this year I do want to get one that's a bit more of a lighter colour because as much as I love this, it is really dark. The next thing that's kind of similar to that is the colourful mesh shirt. I'm sure you've seen them all over like Motel Rocks and Urban Outfitters. I know Olivia Neal has recently bought out a collection with Motel Rocks and there's this like mesh button up shirt on there that's orange and brown and it's stripy and I really want it. But I think they'll really be nice for the summer and they're really lightweight too so it keeps you cool because it's all about like the airflow around your body in the summer. The next thing that I've seen on a lot of models and on Instagram accounts is play suits, tight black ones and I think they're going to be really in this summer. All of the models are wearing them so they probably will be. And it's funny because I went into Urban Outfitters with my friend not long ago and I was really confused why they had so many of them. I was like that's really odd but they actually look really nice like people were wearing them with like the oversized 
shirts or like zip ups and I think they're actually really cool. Obviously you can get them in Urban Outfitters and probably places like Zara, H&M, just for basics like that. I'd probably just try and get it as cheap as you can just because it is something basic and something really simple that a lot of places will be selling. The next thing is midi and maxi skirts and I love these skirts. Like I love long skirts, I think they're amazing. And especially in England because the weather isn't always 100 degrees, I think they're just perfect. So I have a load of these, but this one is probably my favorite. It's from Urban Outfitters. I love the print of this one. Sticking with the bright colors and patterns of this summer, I think this one be amazing but I have loads of these skirts and I really recommend that you get some I think they're great on everyone every body type and I would really recommend it for this summer and also great for those days where it's not a million degrees and it's slightly cooler the next thing that I think is gonna be really in this summer is overalls and dungarees like denim ones I've been wearing them for a couple years now but I've started seeing them lots more I think they're really cool to wear really nice with just like a simple like bralette or something underneath I've actually just ordered one from like a vintage clothing website so I'm really Really excited for that to come. Style of top that is really in this year and was last year is halter neck tops. Now I don't have many of these. I made this one in lockdown last year. Kind of like the house of sunny ones that are really expensive but obviously I couldn't afford that so I made this one. Um, so I think they're going to be really trendy and just that silhouette is really flattering. Two more things that I wanted to mention in this video and the first is dad shorts. The slightly longer shorts especially like denim ones are going to be really in this summer. I have this pair that I bought from Zara last year and they kind of hit like mid thigh length which is the style that I think is going to be really popular. Obviously you can roll them up and last year I did buy them like rolled up but I think this year rolled down so if you do have a pair that has like the cuffs at the bottom have a look and see if you can unroll them because I could with these which is great and obviously there's something that comes out every single year and now dresses this year I think baggier dresses are going to be really popular I think everyone has just really gotten into oversized clothing in the last couple of years so this year I think sundresses like cute little mini ones but slightly baggier fits are going to be a lot more popular I have this one from Primark but you can get these from Urban, Zara like Primark, H&M, literally any shop you can think of will be selling stuff like this. Also I always find trends wise just see what's popping up more in shops and online like what's in the new in section that's always a good way to tell like what's going to be in trend. But thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Also comment what trend you're most excited for this summer or what you're going to be wearing and I'll see you next Thursday.